name of the game. So OPI gave us a list of 10 of their most iconic colors to choose from to bring a set to life. I of course picked Cajun shrimp because I knew I could do a little bit of weirdness with the shrimp and I love the color, so it was a perfect fit for me. I hope you enjoy these spicy nails. So for this challenge, I really wanted to challenge myself and do some extreme stiletto competition shapes. For this style of nail, you're gonna need to double up on the nail forms to get them extra long. Just like in a regular gel set, I go in with a thin layer of clear first and cure it, and then I go back in and do a thicker builder layer of clear. Scrub down with some 99 and get those forms off. Another super thin layer of clear. I wanted to show you a smile line nail because I actually find smile lines to be quite difficult and it's a good skill to have to be able to sculpt a smile line. You want to carve it out really nice and sharp so that that smile line really pops. Oh, so beautifully sharp. Go in with black onyx to give it a shadowed effect and get that smile line popping. Fill in the rest of the smile line with two coats of alpine snow. Now we're gonna bring up these sidewalls. We're gonna need some napkins for these shrimps, so I figured that would be the perfect pattern to encapsulate in my smile line. Once we're finished with the black onyx napkin design, we're gonna encapsulate the whole smile line with a hefty bead of clear. Here's what it should look like when you're done shaping. Now we're gonna finish shaping all the other nails as well. And as you can see, I did a couple nails in the opaque pink. And here's our star of the show, Cajun Shrimp. I'm painting all of the nails right now that will be solid color in the gel polish. To create some napkin diversity, I am also making a napkin nail with the Cajun Shrimp color. To spice these napkins up a little bit, I'm gonna apply a sponging technique to the edges. Now matte top coat all the nails. When I think of Cajun and Creole, I think of jazz and horns, so I wanted to give my shrimp some jazzy nails with a 1920s vibe to sit on. What I'm doing here is a sugaring effect where you dump glitter into the wet polish and cure. Then you brush it off to remove the excess glitter. To give my shrimp a translucent effect, I take nail polish and mix it into my monomer to tint it. Roll your acrylic brush over the shrimp's head to create soft edges. I peel them off, flip them over, and fill in the backside to make them really 3D. Then I give them some depth with the sponging technique and some gel polish. Stick on all the little legs and feelers with some no cleanse top coat and a flashlight. Top him off with matte top coat, then take a brush soaked in 99 and wipe off the dispersion layer. This nail's all finished and I repeat the same process for the other two shrimp nails. You absolutely cannot have a shrimp cookout without some lemon, so we're going to tint our monomer again and create some. This time I'm tinting my monomer green to create okra, and instead of picking up clear acrylic like I did with the lemon, I'm going to pick up white. I wrap up this juicy lotion in saran wrap to create my shrimp cooking pot with some clear gel. Whip up some Cajun peppers using this Big Apple Red dipping powder. I'm shucking up this corn by alternating between white and clear beads of acrylic and my tinted monomer. Fix all the fixins in your pot with your trusty no cleanse top coat and flashlight.
I'm bedazzling a few nails with some glue, some charms, some gems, and some caviar beads. We need to put these veggies to work and what's a Cajun cookout without cutlery? All done! I hope I brought Cajun shrimp to life and I hope that this set made you feel spicy in your heart. Please don't forget to vote! Thanks for watching my first video for OPI and Nails Magazines, NTNA All-Stars.